Hey, hey, early good afternoon. Welcome to the Libra Masculine Collective Reading. So I'm going to do a three card split here real quick and we're going to get some messages on that split. I'm just going to pick up the last one is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very appropriate for the Masculine Collective today. I, I almost laughed because I saw Speedos and I immediately thought you guys would laugh too. We have Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the 80s, maybe late 70s even. And we're going to read it. It says, flex your assets, frugality in excess. The system needs a protein shakeup. A protein shakeup, my goodness gracious. So we have Arnold Schwarzenegger. You guys are probably laughing on the other end of this screen. It just be, it, it means to be the masculine within you, okay? Actually embrace that in this, uh, in this moment, in this time. I also want to add some of the females on the channel also can resonate with this reading just because you could take more from your masculine energy at times. And um, I'm just getting over the cold. I'm sorry if I sound really bad today. We're going to go with the next one too. I saw JP Morgan. Okay. Morgan and Stanley, if some of you are very financially uh, astute with the stock world too. JP Morgan, 2468, merges one conglomerate. Be an indispensable cash dispenser. Don't make the laws inspire the laws okay so i think because you stand as the law and justice system libras in all of our readings especially since you are the scales as well you are justice uh, jp morgan is only saying in this card to make the laws uh, you're the one that actually states them out in the open you set the standard at this time of course before the solar eclipse we have a lot of things that we need to understand and unwrap it's actually a very cool time because you see return people to there are interactions we're going to get a cool tarot story out for you in the present today and we also see a very masculine figure coming out in your reading with Arnold, okay? So all it's saying here is flex your assets. That's the best part of this card, whatever makes you you. Also, if you're a male here, if you're an actual male Libran, I think during your birthday season, people see you kind of shining out. Uh, you might be appearing more, you know, a little bit more scrumptious than usual. You might be more fit. Also, I see here you could be um, actually sharing that positivity too with other people. You could be having more outreach with family. You could be posting more too where you are inspiring others and they can actually see it. When I say that, when I say you're posting it, um, you could be exemplifying this even in your photographs and how you appear right now. Um, I'm not just saying that for social media. I'm just saying it for you as a person. Whatever you're exuding out there, people are receiving at this time. And you have two very masculine cards at the very top of your reading. So we have justice in and of itself. You're making the laws at this current time, setting the standard. And then and whatever this card means for you too. We also have Arnold Schwarzenegger here with um, flexing those assets. Okay, whatever you're good at too. There is a cool card here. Karl Marx and just the clean up here. We have cut class, test your theory on human subjects. Be the posthumous life of every party be the posthumous life. It's time for you to shine. Karl Marx here at the bottom of the deck. Of course, wonderful Karl Marx card. It's a wonderful display of inspiration. I, I'm getting to some of you could have a tattoo here too where something exudes or protrudes. You could have that on your body. Okay. Uh, test your theory on human subjects. What's funny about this card is you can have an experiment in life right now. You can test your communication with new people. I also think they'll receive you well. I think you're very welcoming to start. And we have three gentlemen to start the masculine reading today. So that's kind of cool as we roll. We're going to start with the Baroque deck and see what comes out for you. The first three cards are going to be discussed very heavily. So let's begin, masculines. Welcome back to Libra Light. Um, I took a little bit of a break yesterday. I tried to surly give myself some mental energy. And then today I woke up. I uh, had a couple things to do with the kids. I also had a class. And so I feel a little bit better now. Uh, thank you guys for letting me rest too. Queen of Swords. Six of Cups. We also have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is about an exploration. I think a lot of the masculine energy on the channel too, aside from sensitivities, because you could be feeling things on a very rough level right now, especially if it's an old counterpart in your situation. The Three of Wands only means that you're also waiting for the new, any incoming information or any incoming dreams that you've already worked on, you've put your blood, sweat, and tears in. This is just that expedition. You're just waiting on news. 
possibly those ships too could be very positive. It could be a job. It could be something that you're starting to do. And it could even be working for you in the current moment with the Three of Wands. Some of you are actually waiting on a person too. Six of Wands. Let's talk about this card. Card number two. Also, someone is here missing you in this reading. We will clarify. We have the Six of Wands. It is about victories. Whenever you see this card too, all it means is success. A victory is slated possibly in the current too. I feel like you could be even waiting on this victory. Some of you are attracted to an Aries Leo Sagittarius. For some of my masculine, the males on the channel, you are attracted to an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Okay, there's a fire sign that I've been picking up on in the last few readings. It can be a female who's an Aries. It can be a female who's a Leo or a Sag. There's success here. I think it's for love for the masculines. There is even a personal love that you display. You give yourself back love. You take care of yourself. Some of you could be very physically fit as well, or you take care of your health on some level where you're almost, uh, you're spending a lot of energy there as well. Sometimes the six of wands for me can be a health card. There was a flipper in my hand, and I want to talk about the seven of cups with you very dearly today. The seven of cups is your options, all right? I feel like even some of the females that resonate with male energy, this is the kind of card that you're looking forward to in your birthday month. You're drawing attention. Uh, there is recognition here because the Six of Wands is recognition. And then we got your Queen of Swords, handling business. And we see here that you're definitely in your Libra energy. Uh, it can be disciplinary, it can be strict, but it's also being very honest with people, even yourself, Queen of Swords. Let's look at that header card. What's the Queen of Swords, please? Four of Wands, okay. Anybody that's coming at you with an offer or they are looking for a commitment or they find you to be quite interesting or even alluring here, Libras, the Four of Wands is a very cool message because you stand up for commitment. Uh, you also state what you want in a serious fashion if this is long-term. I understand there's Libras on the channel that don't want a long-term relationship right now, but with this, you are very brutally honest. It's also the standard and the bar that's set for the Four of Wands. And I see that right under your success. So there's something happening here, perhaps with a new relationship because I'm picking up on a new relationship. What's the uh, Three of Wands, please? The Seven of Wands. You're waiting on something, but you can be a bit guarded because of the past. And I just want to briefly touch on the past because I think the Seven of Wands is connected to it. There is a new Seven of Cups. So this Seven is very different, your options and choices. But the Seven of Wands is about the past. It's about a past person. You don't want to let them in. Uh, I'm hearing here like they don't even deserve it. They don't deserve me. They don't deserve it. And I don't know who's saying that today in the reading because it came out really strong here in my intuitive nudges and I listened to those first. So there's something else you're waiting for. Also, it can be a more fruitful opportunity. Maybe something here that makes you happy to wake up every day and you're trying to find that resonance again in your life. So masculines, there's a lot of exploration here, but there is a past person that you keep away from that. Okay, let's discover what that means. I feel like that's super important. That's a big message with the seven of wands. In the soulmate cycle, we see this a lot. Ace of swords, repeating card, rather huge message because you stand by truth. The stang just started. He always starts his car when I do love readings too, the guy outside. So I, I just wanna state that. Ace of swords is about your clarity. You're coming to a overall truth about a love partner that you shared memories with in the past. I also think about a new person you have clarity to. You're understanding a new person too. What's the Ace of Swords? Thank you. Knight of Swords. You could be coming in, I think I said in three nights ago's readings, you guys are the Knight of Swords. I feel like this is the behavior you displayed this week. I feel like you were truthful, honest. I feel like you're good about time. You're very prompt. The environment doesn't show that it's forgiving or it's not supplementing change. And I think you ask for change, three of ones, okay? Also, I think it's traveling for you. Some of you could be going on holiday. We have a flipper, we have temperance, and we have justice, okay? Lots of major arcana energy, by the way. These are majors, and they're some of the most important majors that we see day to day. We have temperance right here, Sagittarius. We got Libra. So you have angelic guidance, patience. We also have fruitful information coming in maybe from your guides. And then we also have you in your justice stance. 
you are very much what what's coming off is your disciplinary your disciplinary in love you take your work serious you take your family serious sometimes people who are not in this energy won't understand you because you're coming off as justice itself which is amazing by the way you should stay here the thing is i feel like it could appear to others that you might be closed off so let's look at the justice card. What here is uh, Libra receiving uh, information about in cycles, in the soulmate cycle? The emperor, okay? Could be an emperor around you. We have an Aries. And we also have this card as somebody taking control. It could even be you. I also have a magician. So this tells me off the bat you're manifesting. Emperor to the magician. We have a manifester here who's looking for some clues to better manifest and create. I feel like you want to create abundance in your life. A lot of people could actually be coming to your aid at this time, seeing that you're in this energy. Okay, pretty powerful. We have the magician here. Hasn't come back around in a couple of readings. So that's very cool. Uh, make a wish, 1111 for some of you. Or you've seen 1111 quite a bit. Queen of Cups on that same shuffle. I want to address this because I feel like it's somebody connected to you, potentially a Six of Cups too. And I looked up at the viewfinder. I take those as signals. Um, I saw 1111 rather strong. So when I look up and it stays a bit longer, uh, it captures even my attention here, Libra, on the other end of the screen. Queen of Cups, Cancer, you could be dealing with a Sag, a Virgo, Gemini, another Libra. I also have an Aquarian here, and we have a Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, my masculines. There's some slow energy around you, which hasn't created momentum in a long time. It could even be your own energy if you resonate with the Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups, though, is something that you've intuitively picked up on. I think this is you, Queen of Cups. All of the masculines on the channel, I believe you're in this energy where the runners can't hide anymore from what you feel. They need to address you, okay? You're coming off as justice, and this person realizes if they don't speak up rather truthfully, they're going to miss an opportunity with a very, very special person. I said this was you, so Queen of Cups. Why don't they want to, you know, readily communicate what's going on here? There's a lot of King of Wands energy going on in the soulmate cycle. Everybody persistent, sometimes for nothing, and we have the King of Wands. The reason why I say that is it's all fluff. They're not coming out with the truth. They rather appear to be a king of wands. And sometimes this is a falsehood because they're not coming to the person who matters the most. Queen of Cups. You, again. I know this might come off strong. I truly believe in the reading, though. And that's why I'm reading this way today. Because I see a certain dynamic. There's a lot of people, too, in your reading. Um, maybe perhaps your connection even to family and speaking to someone who's a sage or has sage advice. Because I do see help here. I feel like there's someone around you who's more mature and actually helps you along. Maybe a good friend or coworker even. Six of Wands now for the masculines. We have the moon. Okay. The success is being hidden at this current time. You will see it fruitfully soon with the moon. It will be revealed. I've been seeing the sun in your readings too. So this is temporary energy with the moon. It's also secrets and fears. It could be your very own fear uh, that you haven't moved on with the right person, okay? So the Queen of Cups, again, I want to address this is a super intuitive person. So you're building something amazing, even if it's by yourself. Um, and it's not a somber card all the time. This can be a very psychic person. Let's see here with the moon, what's being hidden currently in the masculine collective. A betrayal, okay? So we have the Ten of Swords. You could be hiding the fact that you were betrayed too by a certain important person. And I see that as well. Maybe you take that to heart. Haven't discussed it with a lot of people. Maybe only a handful of friends as well. Let's look at the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Who's that? We have the Hermit. Somebody who keeps to themselves. It could even be you. We have Virgo here and you're being enlightened during this solar eclipse. I think it's because you're gaining back all the justice um, and all the injustice that's happened around you, you're gaining perspective on that. You're gaining who's getting hit on um, and alerted about that. What I mean is they're gaining the um, almost relationship matters that occurred with you and they're getting it all back to them, okay? Just by you being you, if that makes sense, Libras. I feel like it's a return for keeping you in the dark for so long. 
some people were not honest with you in your previous chapter and uh, they're learning now with justice that it's coming to them quite fast. I'm speaking of a lot of runners too who have hidden from a situation where they should have treated you a little bit more dearly. King of Wands too, this is um, this is kind of like a masky card for me. This is how people want to appear in front of their friends and family. Um, especially if someone hasn't like not outrightly talked about you in public. I feel like they wear a mask and then they feel it when the lights close. There's justice that occurs in their life. I do think some of them owe you um, not an explanation. I feel like they owe you a talk. Something that you've deserved for quite a while. I feel like it's coming. It is very, very slow. The energy around you is as slow as a turtle in the soulmate cycle happening before the solar eclipse. In this reading, you have definite emperor energy. This could be you fueling success in your own personal life. And we have the six of wands. Huge card for you because this is a victory that's in the current. And it might even be something that you know personally. Six of wands, one more card, actually two, I'm gonna do two. It's about love. You could be getting a new soulmate. Again, I feel like you kind of know them. I feel like there's connections here to somebody that you're spicing things up with. It can be a very, very good relationship for you, Libra, to learn from. And the Eight of Pentacles. Let's quickly talk about this. You're working on something behind the scenes. It's helpful to you. I feel like for some of you, it's even healing. I've been trying to pinpoint this energy for a while because I felt it for up to four weeks. It's something that you work on behind closed doors. You might even find that this is your new love, all right? And I'm talking about something with your hands. It's something that you do, okay? And we see that that could even be inviting some love energy into your life. It's attracting something for my masculines on the channel. Females, this reading can also be for you. So please take the messages that are appropriate for you. I want to thank you for your time. Uh, I might do a bonus just because this one was, it had a, a different thought to it, had a different feeling. So I might do a bonus. Um, we will see what that turns out to be. I want to leave you for this in the meantime. Uh, let me know if it resonated or even specific messages did. I love when you guys share. I will see you in the next video.